Hi there. Today is day number five of my water fast. The weight in the morning was 175.3, which impressed me because yesterday it was 177. And usually, <clears throat> maybe first couple days, like the weight goes off really fast, you know, because of the water and everything. I think that um, maybe because I do my 5Ks every day, you know, I walk a lot. So being active really helps um, to knock off more weight and hope it's not my muscles. <laughs> or uh, like, because my scale did show that my, um, like it shows in a percentage your uh, water, muscles and fat. For some reason, my muscles like percentage is lower than uh, at the beginning of the fast. And my fat percentage is higher. I don't know how those, I mean, that scale might be just wrong. Let's hope. Um, it's old, it's like five year old. I, I bought it five years ago, I think that scale. And I'm not sure how they created the way that uh, through my feet, the scale within a couple seconds could tell the percentage of my muscles or fat. I'm not sure. But I'm just happy today is a great day. I woke up um, with lots of uh, energy. Feel great. I'm surprised how you know easy this fast goes. Like every fast, sometimes uh, it's just like I think it. it there are so many different uh, aspects that we have to take into consideration doing fast. I'm not sure because sometimes I feel horrible. Um, and can and, and I just out of like any energy and I cannot keep going with any fast um, and I quit sometimes I keep going like you know two weeks pass by and um, you feel like wow really like today I feel like this it's been five days and it feels like I haven't fasted like like I've been having just like normal days, normal life, just not eating, but my body feels great. Um, I'm not sure what, what, how it works, but you have to listen to your body. If you feel like, well, at the same time, it's really easy to get confused. If it's, if it's your body telling you um, that you are, you know, we have to quit or if it's your brain telling you because the brain wants to feed you so you have to really listen to your body and uh, with experience you gotta know if it's false alarm or not um, also your goals and your um, you know like what what do you want to achieve you have to have your goals uh, in your head every day otherwise it's not gonna work either uh, what kind of health benefits you're looking for um, you know weight loss is amazing but you know you can gain it really fast after all if you just go back to the same way of eating and that happened to me many many times within the last 20 years you know I'm 43 I'm gonna be 44 this year well in December so I'm 43 um, and for over 20 years I've been fasting and guess what it's just like going back and forth but I'm glad that even three four fasts a year helps me to maintain at least the same weight that I'm not getting bigger because I know like looking at all my parents like uh, from my parents side all my family they're all big from both sides and I'd be probably really big if I would wouldn't find out you know wouldn't start like if i didn't start fasting when i was young and um i don't know with the you know i'm back from soviet union and we had a very poor diet at that time very poor diet it's like no fruits no vegetables maybe like in i'm from siberia so pretty much uh during winter you know cabbage beets and carrots that and then they all will always were cooked or pickled um, you know two three months of summer and uh, the first time I saw banana I was probably eight years old 
so and it was really you know not ripe at all and I thought oh that's disgusting but what I would like to say is like for for those who are just starting uh, just be patient with yourself and all those symptoms like headaches and fatigue and um, sometimes emotional uh, you're just getting so low and you're like ah heck with it I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna wait maybe next week is gonna be better just all those thoughts you have to fight them every day and the more you fight them you kind of train your brain that when the brain tells you quit you don't and then the more you do it the result like in the future you're starting couple three you know a couple of days of starting the fast is they're gonna be easier because um, I notice if I do quit like second day for example like three times in a row then it's like it's getting harder and harder with every time because then that second day uh, becoming the worst day of entire fasting period because somehow the brain works like they find it, it finds your weaknesses where you can quit so it's kind of like you have two per personality in your head one says do it the other says says don't do it so just use common sense you know um, and a lot of like motivation the best motivation comes from other people to me I like to watch uh, videos of other people who went through the same experience and to see their results and to read books and especially get into the details of what fast actually does to you and to your body, how good it is for you. And now it's like imagine 20 years ago, uh, such information about water fast was like, it was impossible to find it. Um, I had only one book to read where um, from different authors there were just like this and that you know information and I had a couple people who actually did uh, water fast and from their experience I learned a lot of things but most of that came from my own experience so I had just experience and trust my body um, so don't get disappointed if you quit just do it again and again and again until you break through the door and uh, when you get to the fourth and fifth day it's easy it's um, it's just the most is just like your habits and our attachments you know attached like the the uh, the feeling of eating and not like you're hungry but you just want to taste it and you see and then you'll figure out that you're not gonna crave you know chicken or pizza or I mean like deep fry stuff like not like a, well grilled chicken breast is fine but I mean like all this deep fried chicken and deep fried this and that and pizzas and pastas um, I don't even want to taste it I don't I don't dream about that I'm thinking, I'm, I'm looking at that watermelon that is on in the kitchen now countertop that everybody eating and I'm thinking like, oh, just one bite, looks so good. All the colorful stuff looks good. Orange, apples, tomatoes. Now it's a season in Florida. Well, it's always season in Florida for tomatoes. They're just amazing here. Very, very tasty. So, um, what else I would like to say today? I'm just happy that the fifth day started. I'm gonna do my five uh, Ks today and I'm thinking actually to go to gym and do some weights today as well. Because um, you gotta make your muscles, I guess, work on a fast as well, not to lose them. And uh, I'm gonna put all these videos for, from the last five days today on the YouTube um, and I do have an Instagram page I just started it uh, just put in there like little notes and I actually usually write everything down and I have like this um, notebook and all my fasts for the last I don't know 10 years they're just I'm just like putting little notes how it went and the weight and this and that and um, 
this time I just decided to keep all my notes on uh, Instagram and see how that goes so I hope you guys have a great day and I'm gonna be keep going uh, probably at least I'm gonna do another five days and see how it goes and um, I'll post my results um, I'm actually thinking I would like to do at least 21 days this time I've done it before 21 days it went absolutely great and it was um, what how many years ago it was like four years ago and since that I've never done anything longer than two weeks or like 16 days I think um, I do dry fast a lot like five days you know there and there and it's a totally different story but um, they say that one day of uh, dry fast equals like three days of water fast so sometimes I do like a couple days in the middle of my water fast and dry fast or like I like to start my water fast I mean my fasting period like with uh, three or five days of uh, dry fast and then just keep going on water it actually on dry fast uh, you get into ketosis like probably after the first day and so hunger goes away right away so you don't feel hunger for three days you just feel it for probably first day if if that it's really like it's to me it's easier on dry fast uh, not to feel hungry but you do feel thirsty <laughs> which is not a bad thing it's it's you're just thirsty and it's okay you can deal with it well if you have too many toxins in your body then you're gonna get uh, very heavy uh, headaches so you probably would have to stay in bed <laughs> which is not fun because I think staying in bed during any kind of fast just makes you to uh, think more about food and quit all right thank you for watching